hi don here from menzo's where it's not about the dog and if you're new with us every monday wednesday and friday we answer your questions what's our question today don it's a good one today is a good one probably get this one a lot um my dog jumps on people oh Oh, my goodness my dog loves people they jump on people um this is that dog right loves everyone jumps on everyone People come into your house, people out in the streets. Why do they jump though, Don? Why? (laughs) What is the reason? Well, this is where we're going to talk about some some obedience. We're not going to talk about behavior yet. We're going to talk about some obedience that can stop them. But most dogs jump. A lot of dogs jump for touch. Like number one way to communicate with your dog is through touch. They want to touch you. They want to get something. They want something. And it's typically they're happy and it's it's very much a social thing, right? They're jumping on you, touching you. And I think it works for them. It does. It works. So if my dog comes and jumps on me, I look at them <laughs> so they get eye contact. Mm-hmm. I talk to them even if it's to say... No, get your muddy paws off me. Mm-hmm. I talk to them, so they're happy that I talk to them. And then sometimes they even get that touch because I take my hands and I put my hands on them and I push them off of yeah. me. Yeah, yep. So they win three times over by jumping. So yeah. how do I make it not a winning situation? Yep. And we're going to start with some obedience, you guys. So this is where um, we the obedience matters. Do you have an obedient dog? Obedience here we teach is that's the, the actual act of doing something. It's the sit. It's the down. It's place. It's go to your crate. It's walking and heel. Those are obediences, okay? Those are obediences. The not jumping will be the behavior that will be learned from the obedience, from starting with the obedience. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to teach that dog some obedience. Yep. Like sit instead Mm -hmm. of jumping. Yep. And sit can get the same reward for the dog as the jump got, but they can sit and then I can calmly, when they're calm, go pet them, right? Um, Because then they're still getting the touch, but they're getting it once they do the obedience, okay? So obedience, obedience, obedience. That's You're going to be working your dog with some obedience stuff here. And I think that the good point to make for this is all of you are writing into us about behaviors that your dogs have. They jump, they bite, they don't walk on a leash, they pull you, whatever the case. Those are all behaviors. And I always go back to obedience first, Mm -hmm. and then I can fix the behaviors. Yeah. So I always tell people when your dog is jumping on you, That's not what you're going to fix. Does that make sense? I'm going to teach my dog what my expectations are and the jumping goes away. Yeah. So, so, and literally it's the, the dog doesn't know any different. The dog has gotten the reward when it jumped up on, um, on you or on your friend or whatever, got a reward. And jumping is very, um, I mean, I've had numerous clients come here because their dog jumped on them and knocked them down and broke their hip or broke their arm or their wrist or whatever. Or hurt somebody else. Or hurt somebody, yeah. And it wasn't because it was a bad dog, but now it's deemed a bad dog, right? But really the problem was, was you, you didn't teach it what to do. You just got mad when it did something that you didn't, a behavior that you didn't want. So I would... Take him away, have him come back. He's sitting. And so it's just like that puppy, right? I sat, I'm a good dog, and now I'm going to run up and jump on you, okay? Mm -hmm. So teaching them that that behavior is not going to get them anything. Remember, they do things because it works for them. And so taking away what works is going to help them learn that... Um, there's a different way to do things. Yeah, but, you know, and that's a great question. The The problem is, is obedience will not trump a behavior. And I come from a behavior standpoint, like looking at it is why the dog's doing it. And the dog doesn't have a big enough no, to be honest with you. If your dog understands what they're supposed to do in order to get touched. So if you're, if you only touch your dog when your dog is sitting, you have now taught your dog that when they sit, they get touched. And so my dog will literally, if that's what they know, they're going to sit in front of me because they want to be touched. They're just going to, wherever I am, sit in front of me to get the touch, right? Versus most dogs jump because they want you to touch them. They want to have touch. They want to get that feeling. Um, So it's, it's, you have to teach them something else. But an obedience will not trump a behavior. Behavior, sorry, behavior is behavior. And that dog who's still doing it, 
is still doing it because they don't understand the next step. So, um, and we will be talking about that next step. I'm not uh, leaving you out to dry here. We're just going to talk about obedience in this in this instance. So the first thing you're going to do is teach your dog something else. So, um, so teach them place, teach them. Um, so um, this question came from somebody who it was at their door. So every time somebody comes to their door, somebody knocks, the dog runs up, jumps on the person at the door. Okay. So we're going to stop that behavior because we're going to, or um, the behavior of jumping, because we're going to teach them the door. Somebody knocks at the door. I'm going to go get in place. That dog is going to be taught to go get in place right then. That's the obedience, right? Then when the person comes in the door, if it is a meaningful person, say it's your mom or your dad or something like that, then they're going to go over to the dog. If the dog is calm, then they're going to give them the physical touch that they want. If the dog then still jumps up, you're going to walk away. It's going to be, nope, you're not going to get the reward of touching. They want something and they want that reward. You're not going to get that reward if you jump. Right, Karen? Right. I, I'm boring Karen over here. No, I'm thinking of um, ways to make this clearer. Yeah. the Go back to our markers video. Watch about the yes and the no. That's exactly what Dawn was talking about. If your dog doesn't have a good enough no, um, we even talk about it in our um, puppy biting video. Yeah. So the dog learning that nope and you go away, dogs hate to be alone right? They want to be with us. They're a pack animal. That's what they want. So I'm going to go away. I'm not going to go away for hours or half hours or tons of minutes. It's literally a short period of time. So nope, you jumped on me. Nope. Okay. Come back. Yes. That's oh, Look at if you stay up. Oh, nope. You jumped on me. Okay. Yes. Now you're sitting. I'm going to yep. pet you again. I'm and petting my computer. <laughs> And it, and honestly, you guys, and we're, we'll do a whole video about this, but the next step is the no. Like, what is the no? Is the no meaningful enough for that dog in that situation? Um, my personal dogs, Clark and Abby, um, they don't jump on people until my brother comes around and my brother's this, you know, bigger than life kind of personality and my dogs love that and they, my Clark and Abby do and they gravitate towards it because every time my brother comes over, he throws the ball for them and he plays with them. So they jump and they get excited and they do all that. So there is no N-O for my dogs when it comes to my brother and he's fine with that, but there absolutely is with everybody else and, um, and they know um, that the no, the no is very big and understanding if they were say to jump on my mom or somebody else anybody else pretty much and i think the point i want to make when people write into us and say they my dog jumps on people it's not an easy fix none of this is easy it doesn't you can't i can't say to you teach your dog to sit mm -hmm. and i fix the problem <laughs> yeah okay so it's an ongoing thing it's using obedience to get to the behaviors that you want and there will be a bazillion videos on how to use obedience to get the behaviors you want yep and remember obedience is the act the act of sitting the act of going to place the act of walking and heal that is the obedience you have taught your dog just because <clears throat> excuse me your dog can sit does not mean your dog will not jump on a person okay right. <laughs> it's not going to stop a behavior it's going to we're going to start teaching them the things that they can do to get the rewards that they want Okay, and there is, once you teach them what they can do to get the pets and stuff like that, if that's what they want, you have to then instill a no. There has to be a no and there has to be a consequence. Just like there was a positive reward, there has to be a negative side to it. So at some point you have to say no to your dog and you have to instill a punisher in that and we will have a whole video about that and what you do with that. Karen, thanks for signing on today and listening to our video about jumping and... We hope to help you in the future. God, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Send us your questions. Send in your questions. And remember, you guys, it's not about the dog. <laughs>